Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract data from the sec.gov website. The address to the website is as seen right here, sec.gov slash Edgar. So when you get to this page, you have two options to start your search. One is using the company name. The other method is using the ticker symbol. You can choose either method. I'm going to type in the company name. So let's say we are looking for data for Walmart. You get to the results page. On the first column, you will see the different types of filings, 10K, 8K, etc. Now for our data set, let's find the 10K filings, which are your annual reports. A tip I have for you here is you can narrow down your search by typing it in the filing type box. So 10K and press enter or search on the right hand side. This will give you only the 10K filings. Now on this column where you have your filing date, you can see the different years for which this 10K has been filed. Another tip I have for you is select the latest date and take a look to see if it includes the previous year's data set because usually what you'll see is it includes at least two to three years of past data values on the same sheet so that helps save you some time so let's find the 2020 filing so we're going to click on interactive data first so right here on the left hand side where you have financial statements if you click on it it will give you the different categories if you click on the 10K link, it gives you the actual 10K form. This also includes company history. So general talks about the company, the development of the company, etc. So these are information that you can also use for your research. Now going back, I'm clicking on the financial statements. So let's say you're looking for marketing variables. You could look for variables like selling expenses. Selling expenses could be costs associated with distributing, marketing or selling a product or service for a company. So that could be one variable you can include. Another could be cost of sales. Cost of sales could include actual product cost, the cost of transportation to the company's distribution facility. Another variable you can include are expenditures. Sometimes they're also called as total capital expenditures. These could be all the expenditures made on customer facing initiatives and all the expenses that goes into creating a seamless omni-channel experience for your customers. Um, some examples could be allocating capital to e-commerce. If you plan to go online and you decide you need to make a website, then you need to invest in the skills, technology, internet services, etc. Another variable you can include is net sales. Another variable could be net income. And sometimes you might find that the selling expenses could be broken down into different variables like advertising expense, uh, sales and marketing expense. So you should really look for those type of variables in your uh, statement. On the top left corner, you will see an option called view Excel document. So we're going to click on that. It's going to download your data set in Excel format. So here you see a lot of different sheets. So then you can go ahead and extract the variables that you need. For example, net sales is right here. And you'll notice that it has data for the past two years. So you have three years of data from one data set. You also have total revenues here. If you're looking for specific variables, you can just go through the different sheets and extract the variables that you need and create your column of data for the last three years. So what you can do next is look for the 10K filings for 2017 and you will probably find the data goes back until 2015. So that saves you a little bit of time as well.